and welcome to How We Met. I'm Cheryl Stritch, and every month we meet two couples from Laguna Woods who tell their story about how they met. First up today, first couple today, are Harry Graff and Beth Siegel Graff. Beth is currently directing a Reader's Theater production of What's on TV for Theater Guild. Mm -hmm. Beth plays Hello, Pickleball, <laughs> and Mahjong, and Harry plays Table Tennis and Pickleball. Welcome. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming on. Um, uh, spoiler alert, Beth and I do play Mahjong together, mm -hmm. and we were in the same show together, so there we go. Um, I always ask three questions. Okay. First question is, where are you from? Well, we're from New York. OK. And we snowbird here in California for five months a year. OK. My family moved out here 37 years ago. OK. And since we're both retired, mm -hmm. Harry had the brilliant idea. <laughs> instead of saying, let's just go for a short visit, he said, who needs Florida? We have California. That's right. So my sister said, there's a great 55 and over community, and here we are. How long have you been coming here? This is our third year. Your third year. Yeah. Wow, you we really got it. integrated pretty quickly. Yes, mm -hmm. yes we did. <laughs> yes, it, it's easy. It's easy here. OK, um, so you just ruined my third question. <laughs> Sorry. That's OK. <laughs> OK. <laughs> That's OK. Um, how long have you been a couple? Wow. Um, so we met in 1977. Sure. We got married in 1979. Mm -hmm. So in July, we'll be celebrating our 45th wedding anniversary. Sure. Congrat, but you won't be here to do it, so I won't be invited. Sorry. Right? No. I can come to Staten Island. Oh, great. OK. All right. We have a room. <laughs> oh, good. OK, perfect. Um, OK, so let's get into it. How did you meet? OK, so in a bar. You met in a bar? We met in a bar. College hangout between, it was in Brooklyn. Excuse me, oh, what college? Uh-huh, so it was in between two colleges, okay. and neither one of us went to either one of those mm -hmm. colleges. It was just a local <laughs> hangout. So it was in between Kingsborough mm -hmm. and Brooklyn College, and uh, everybody knew the bar as uh, Popeyes, or then it changed name to Captain Walters, and mm -hmm. he was there with his friends, and I reluctantly, very reluctantly wound up going. My friend said to me, we have to go out. And I said, OK, great, where are we going to go? Were you a college student at this point? Yes. OK. Yes, I, I was actually attending um, the City University of New York at Queens College. Okay. And Harry was at the college. You, oh, I you was were working, working at that at, time, yeah. full time. Yes. He was yeah. working and going to school. Oh, school someone with money. money. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I wasn't stupid. So. Yeah. Um, yeah, she really wanted, so mm -hmm. she said, you know, um, we're going to go to this bar I heard about. And I went, oh, no, 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 no. We are not doing this. I'm tired of this. And you remember, you know, 1970s disco revolution. Right. And, you know, went to a bunch of those places. And I said, Spoil, I, hold on a second. Yeah. This is 1979. 77. And yeah. in New York State, you could drink when you were 18. That's correct. Correct. OK. Correct. Right. So I was 19. OK. Mm -hmm. So I just Pass the bar. Okay. Ha, get it? Bar. Right. Okay, good. So uh, there I was, and, and she's, she's fighting with me. I said, look, I don't like the meat rack thing. I really don't want to do this. I don't want to go. I hate being, you know, the up and down. You get the up and down. Everybody's looking at you. I said, I, I, no, not for me. She said, you have to go. I said, okay, but here's the deal. I'm not doing my hair. I'm not putting on a stitch of makeup. And my sister just came right. back from Mexico on her honeymoon, and there were these huge huge Mexican sweaters where I could just hide myself all inside that sweater. So there we went to the bar. So uh, I think it was a Monday night, and my friends, two of my friends and I were looking for something to do. And we knew this place occasionally had uh, live music and our age. So we went there. One of my friends uh, recognizes her friend. Her, he knows her friend's sister. So that was the introduction. So he walks over, we follow, and then he introduces himself to her friend. And, that's and I was. wanted to die. I said, oh, God, what am I going to do now? So we all started chatting. Mm -hmm. We started chatting. And uh, so even though I'm from Brooklyn, I'm originally, I was born in Israel. And oh. I came here when I was seven years old. So, and at that time, I haven't seen any family, uh, you know, I, I mean, my immediate family here, but extended family. I had nine aunts, I had uh, three 
grandparents when I left, and many cousins. So here she was away. Uh, she went to Israel for the summer. So somewhere or another, it came up in conversation that she was in Israel at a kibbutz and doing her thing there. And then, oh, Harry was born in Israel. So the next thing you know, we started talking. So it's uh, five of us, and the, our conversation is taking over everything else. So they shoot us away. Just guys, you're having a lot to talk about. Just go over there. Go to the side and talk. So that's what we did. And uh, 45 minutes later, we get a tap on our shoulder. And I thought five, 10 minutes passed by. Harry, you know, we, we're here for like an hour already. <laughs> Time to go. So we could, you know. <laughs> oh, so he said, um, can I have your phone number? Oh, and you what? said no. Better, <laughs> better, got one better for you. So I said, absolutely, no problem. Now, no, this is where our that. stories yeah. diverge. Bit, yeah. he, I, I thought he said, well, if I don't call you, what are you going to do? I said, well, give me your phone number. And I thought, they were great. And he thinks. Well, that's pretty much it's similar. I was being a wise guy, you know, a women's lib, right. that kind of stuff. Why do guys always have to uh, make the first right. call? Right. So what if I don't call you? Right. And she said, well, I'll call you, you know? Yeah. So, and we decided that she, she would call me uh, on Thursday, or that why would, the phone would be Thursday. So anyway, uh, two days later, I, I said, no, nah, I'm not, I, I couldn't wait. So, oh. so I called her. <laughs> that's, <laughs> what, that's, that's what it was. And that's how it, it took off. Yeah. It took off. So, then what was the next day? The next day was Nathan. probably Nathan's on Nathan's, Long Island. Yeah. We, you know, and then after they that, had good yeah. pinball machines. Pinball machines, yeah, yeah. So you met yeah. in 1977. Seven. You were 19. Yeah. And two years later, you were married. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Did yes. you finish college? No, no. I actually mm -hmm. had a semester left because I had switched majors, and um, I was an English theater major. Right. And in my junior year. Um, it was mentioned that they need teachers of English in New York City. So I said, OK, then I'll do a second minor in education. Yeah, so we were married. And then for the first yeah. half year that we were married, I completed my studies. Mm -hmm. I did my student teaching, and yeah. Mm -hmm. And what about you? You were working and going to school? I, yes, I was uh, finishing my engineering degree. OK. So, so at night, night classes, which took six years to finish, because the night classes, right. they don't offer. Things. So you, were you? Going to school at the same time that Beth was during your yes when you, oh yeah, yeah. even even uh, 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 until we had our marriage and our firstborn so uh, when our, our older son Jonathan he was just turning uh, one that's when I completed did he come to your graduation <laughs> <laughs> neither one yeah. of us attended yeah. our yeah. graduations right. oh yeah, yeah. yeah. it did, just just we were didn't happy have, yeah. we were happy it's over with yes yeah. 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 Anyway. So then what happened after that? So you, then you, you, was your mother okay with the fact that you got married so young? Oh, my father opened the door and said, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> when the car insurance lapses, oh. you get to pay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I said, thank you. <laughs> yeah. So how did you wind up in Staten Island? My mm -hmm. older sister, who's currently a Floridian, um, she and her husband moved out to Staten Island, and um, you know you could get a lot more for your money than you could in Brooklyn at the time because we originally wanted to stay in Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. That was the happening place. You're from Brooklyn too. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. And um, we were both very reluctant to want to cross over the bridge. Right. And we went out there and we said, "Wow, that's a house." Mm -hmm. You know, I have to tell you something. I almost didn't exist. My father was from the Bronx, and my mother was from Brooklyn. Okay. Or she was living in Brooklyn. And my father, you, you don't date a girl from Brooklyn because mm -hmm. it's too far away. That's right. Sure. He persevered, and so here I am. But right. yeah. thank goodness. So I understand about yeah. not wanting to move to Staten Island when you're, yeah. when you're from Brooklyn. It's yeah. it's tough. Absolutely. A actually, yeah. then it was really tough. But now there's a lot more traffic, and you have oh a car. Oh my goodness! Yeah. It's insane. Yeah. Right. And it was Sports. difficult for our families also. Mm -hmm. You know, it was. Uh, as, as they say in colloquial English, a schlep. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, you know, it was, it was rough. And Harry's parents didn't drive. Didn't drive no. oh. So, you know, we were always going into Brooklyn. Right. Yeah. Oh, so if you were going to Brooklyn to see one parent, then you <laughs> had a it. long day. <laughs> yeah. You couldn't see one parent without seeing the other parent right. if you were going yeah. to Brooklyn. Right. And then in 1986, my father retired. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And my mother said, you will not get me to go down to Florida with the geriatrics. Mm. 
So they went to visit a friend out in uh, San Diego, out, up in the hills, in Rancho Bernardo. Oh. And 36 mm -hmm. hours later, they put a binder down on a house. Yeah. They didn't know I was pregnant with number three yet. Mm -hmm. And they moved out to California. Yeah. So we've really been coming out here all these years. Mm -hmm. Are they? They're my dad is deceased, okay. um, and my mom lives right in Freedom Village on El Toro. Mm -hmm. Oh, so she, <laughs> so she'll be ninety-four, God willing, um, the end of next month. Nice, nice. Yeah, and my sister is out here with her family, and she's mm -hmm. a grandma now. Okay. So we get the pleasure of seeing all of these cute little babies too. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. So when when you were in Staten Island, you missed out on having parents babysit mm -hmm. for you. You better believe it. Yeah. <laughs> and then Harry's parents oh, yeah. Yeah. took a hike. And they ended up going from Brooklyn all the way down to southern Jersey to Tom's River to a retirement community. So yeah. that really, so we had, our children had four non existent grandparents. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so were you working the whole time you were married? Um, in essence, yes. Uh, mm -hmm. There were a few years that I took off. Um, so I started teaching in 1980 and uh, through 1982 had our first son, second son, and then when we had the second son, um, I started my own business. I became a professional clown. A professional clown? Yes, that oh. is what I said. Okay. Um, and uh, I had my own business. I started out with a partner, hi Mindy, and um, <laughs> then you know we ended up splitting, but I, yeah, for about 10 years, and it, was, it wreaked havoc on our mm. family life because I worked on the weekends, he worked during the week. Right. And uh, the last couple of years, basically, um, I worked one day on the weekend. I had okay. you know jobs during the week, right. restaurant work, all right. kinds of stuff, it right. was wonderful. And um, then I went back to teaching in 1993. Okay. And uh, became an administrator and retired in 2016. And we here in Laguna Woods are very happy that you're here because you've taken on a big role in Theater Guild in terms of directing and being in shows. And, Pleasure. And I, you have a fabulous Russian accent. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> we were in the same show, and I thought she was Russian. <laughs> anyway, I just got the, the two-minute warning. Okay. So I want to thank you guys for coming on. This has really been interesting and delightful <laughs> and... Thank you. We come from the same place. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. Thank so thank you. you very much. Oh, pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.